Every language has its own characteristics. One of the characteristics of English is smoothness. And in order for Americans to get this, they often drop T's and D's in common words without even realizing it. Americans drop the D in many common words and phrases, and we'll go over more than a hundred of these. Take these two words. In most cases, most people will pronounce them the same. This is tens, and they'll drop the D here, making it sound like tens. Tens of thousands of people were there. He tends to be right. Tens. Tens. Honestly, it's hard even to pronounce that word with an audible D. Let me try. Tens. 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 No, almost every native speaker will say tens. Now, don't just go dropping any old D. There is a specific pattern happening here, which we'll go over. But first, let's look at another word with a dropped D and see if you can guess the pattern. The word is friendship. But first, let's look at the word friend. My friend is here. Friend is. Friend is. Diz. Diz. D -d 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 -d. We say the D in that word. But in the word friendship, we don't. Instead of friendship, we say friendship. The D is completely gone. Nine times out of ten, if not more, you'll hear that Americans drop this D. Friendship. 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 This is the most common pronunciation. Why? D is a stop consonant, so by leaving it out, by not doing the stop, we get more smoothness in our speech. American English is full of this smooth quality, and one of the things that's evolved in spoken American English is dropping D in the pattern N, D, consonant. In the word friendship, D comes after N, before SH. Drop that D for more natural spoken English. Friendship. But in the phrase friend is, the sound after D is a vowel. Don't drop that D. My friend is here. Friend is. Da, da, da. Little light D, but friendship. Drop the D. Friendly. Drop the D. Friends. Drop the D. N, D, plus consonant. This is true in words that link, too. For example, my friend was there last week. Friend was. Linking friend into a consonant, the W sound here, drop the D. My friend was. Friend was. What do you think? Have you been trying to pronounce that D? Friend was. Or have you been dropping the D without realizing it because that's what you hear happening around you? To make sure we're hearing it correctly, let's go back to those examples, other people saying friendship, and play them in slow motion. We should hear no D, but N linking directly into SH. Friendship. 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 This dropped D really sounds very natural in the full sentences the power and depth of friendship. And I also felt scared that we would lose our friendship. It just goes deeper and deeper into friendship. It's a valuable friendship. If you want to know more about the right mouth position for the English sounds, click here or in the video description to get a free cheat sheet on the sounds of American English. It's a great reference tool and even I use it quite a bit. There are lots of words with N, D, and another consonant. And when you include linking, there are even more cases. We'll go over more examples with clips, and then I'll give you a huge list. Think of it. All these words without a stop. That will smooth out your English and simplify your pronunciation. Before we get to our next common example, I want to pop in for a huge thanks to all my supporters here on YouTube. Everyone who's joined my channel. They get special badges to make their comments pop, early release of videos when available, access to members-only posts and videos, and the top tier gets a free monthly audio lesson from me. Thank you. Click join to learn more. Our next word, grandkids. Grandkids. No D. Look, he had pictures of her grandkids. I just picked up the grandkids. My dad has 13 grandkids. Got to the point where she couldn't keep up with her grandkids. What other grand words do we have? 
grandstand. That's the main seating area in a stadium, no D. Grandparents, no D. Grand piano. Two different words there, but we link them, so no D. Grand piano. Errands. Whew, I had to run a lot of errands today. Errands. No D. You can just be out doing your errands. They do errands, they make lists. If you wore that clothing out and about doing errands. If you have several errands to do, make that the very last errand you run. Kindness with no D is more common than kindness with the D. And so out of both pity and kindness, I moved back to my family home. So wonder, gratitude, interdependence, kindness, love, care. And in the same way, we reason that kindness and compassion are qualities that are present from the start. Have I ever done anything but treat you with respect and kindness? Three walks, the 20 minute replay, five random acts of kindness. Related words, kinds. They're all kinds of problems, no D. What about kindly? In my research, the L-Y ending is a case where I think it is more common not to drop the D, kindly. But it's also okay to drop it. Oh, he's a kindly old man. No D. Really, that one can go either way. Let's look at a few two-word phrases now with linking. Around the, around the. Linking the words, dropping the D, the most common pronunciation. Let's hear the others. And my reporting around the country. Across the United States and countries around the world. On both sides of the political aisle around the world. In that nine months, I went around the country Anytime you're linking around into a word that begins with a consonant, do this. Around my. Around this. Around those. Around nine o'clock. Around one o'clock. Around one. Now, the word one starts with the letter O, which is a vowel. What gives? Why am I dropping the D? For this rule, I'm talking about sounds, not letters. The word one starts with a vowel letter, but the first sound is the W sound, which is a consonant. So it's N, D, plus consonant sound, around one. Another common ND word is found. Link it into a consonant, drop the D. Found my. I found my phone. Found my. No D. And I had found my way back home. Last year, I found my Korean birth family in just three months. But I found my old friends, the Blue Sharks. But instead became a space where I found my own voice. I finally had found my place here at Stanford. Found my, found there, found this, found these, for example. Second is another common ND ending word. Second time, no D. Second time. It's now my pleasure to introduce you a second time to the ambassadors. It took you longer the second time. He was wrong the second time. But then for the second time in my life. Second time. Second best. Second place. Second shift. Also seconds or secondhand. If you buy something secondhand, that means it's used, not new. It had another owner before. For example, I buy a lot of kids clothes secondhand. Kids grow out of things fast, so the clothes can often be in good condition. Okay, you get it, you got it. You're gonna master this aspect of the American accent. Just to get your brain going on these combinations, I'm now gonna give you a massive list of common words and two word links where we drop the D. Almonds, almond milk, amends, amend the document, around the corner, around my age, ascends, ascend to, ascend to the top, astounds, that will astound me, attends, attend the conference, attend to her needs, backgrounds, background music, background check, bands, also this spelling, bands, bartends, behind the couch, behind my car, 
bends, bend the rules. Beyond the horizon, beyond my wildest dreams, beyond their abilities. Binds, bind the pages. Blends, blend the colors. Blinds, blind students. Bonds, bond the two together. Bookends, bounds, bound to improve, boundless. Brands, brand name, brand new. Commands, command the classroom. Contends, contend with them. Defends, defend the Constitution, defend my position. Demands, demand to see it. Demand the best. Depends, depends who's there. Diamonds, diamond mine. Disbands, disband the group. Ends, endless, end late. Expands, expand the table, expand my mind. Extends, extend the warranty. Finds, find the tickets, find my glasses, find these things out. Found the keys, found my phone. Funds, fund my idea, fund the charity. Garlands, garland for Christmas. Glands, grinds, grind the coffee. Grounds, groundless, ground coffee. Hands, handshake, hand towel, handful. Hindsight, hounds, hound the neighbors. They always hound me. Husbands, also this spelling, husbands. Husband thought it was okay. Husband needs a better job. Intends, intend to change it. Islands, island nation. Kinds, lands, landslide, landlord, landlady. Landline, landfill, landfall, land the contract. Legends, lens, lend me a hand. Minds, mindless, mindfulness, mindset, mind my own business. Mounds, offends, offend my mother. Pawns, pawn scum. Pounds, pound the pavement. Pretends, pretend with my kids. Rebounds, rebound the ball. Refunds, refund my last payment or refund my last payment. Reminds, remind me. Rescinds, rescind the offer. Responds, respond well. Rewinds, rewind the day. Rhines, rounds, round trip, round table. Sands, sandbox, sandcastle, sand the edges. Seconds, second time. Sends, send the email. Sounds, soundless. Spends, spend too much. Stands, standby. Stand still, stand with you. Stipends, strands. Suspends, suspend service. Thousandth, thousand times. Trends, trendsetter. Unkind people, unwinds, unwind tonight, upends, upend the whole plan, 
Weekends, weekend plans, wetlands, winds, windmill, or wines, wind the clock, wounds. Okay, wow, I went deep there. You get the point. Pick a phrase you want to work on. Go to Youglish to see a bunch of examples. That's where I go to do my research. It's a great place to not only get real world examples for a particular word or phrase, but to hear the pronunciation of many different people. Type in behind the and practice it out loud, imitating what you hear. Check out rachelsenglishacademy.com if you want to learn more about my online courses, which focus on accent reduction, listening comprehension, ease when speaking English, and so on. It's packed with tips like this one, dropping the D after N before consonant. Thanks so much for learning with me. I love being your English teacher and accent coach. Keep your learning going now with this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you never miss a lesson. That's it and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.